Hey there guys and welcome back to Nimby Rails. Today we're going to be working on Central Newcastle, apparently. That's what I've written on my list of what to do this this time. Um, I'm not actually sure whereabouts in Central Newcastle it is, but this would make sense. This looks right. Okay, stations. And that all looks right. It's a while since I've played, I'll be honest. Um, I've got to remember what I'm doing again. It looks like I need two pairs of bay platforms there, two sets of pairs of through platforms and then a single through platform on the edge and another bay platform over here. The problem with this station is it's built much like most major stations, a massive curve and so getting the platforms in in vaguely the right place is proving difficult. So, I know that coming off the river, wherever that is, um, would you like to place your bets? Whereabouts is it in relation to the road? <laughs> here, I think, looks like it comes down here. Coming off the river is four tracks. So, I'm just going to do a simple pairing on that side but on this side we'll have them all pair off one node so I can build out four tracks later there we go uh, no that was off the wrong node that needs to go off there flip ten Dub. okay coming in towards the station the leftmost two tracks come in nicely to the top set of through platforms I can do that. So we'll wrap round here, up and in. I'll also put that set of platforms back. The other two tracks come round slightly more awkwardly. So it looks like if I wrap round like so, I'll then need, um, I think I need another node closer. Basically one of the tracks comes into this line and the other comes into a siding effectively next to it. And obviously trying to build a plane line next to station is difficult. But that should work. Obviously it's a very low speed into the station, but... Probably is anyway, honestly. Typically you'd approach a station like this at a very low speed, so... Let's pin it to there, and then connect up the tracks. Sorted. Now to get into the middle two platforms, we have one line come off here and round and the other one comes off of here and round and I'm going to stretch that back a little bit to give myself a bit more room um, we'll parent it from there, sure and then, obviously, the same again there. That looks fine. We're going to have <clears throat> a crossover between these two platforms. Apparently. And then, working back down, sort of across this road, there's a set of points out from there that come round and these are going out to I've changed the map I'm looking at briefly okay where are we going to um, all the way up to the outer platform by the looks it's a little deceptive because open railway map doesn't show double slips very nicely if that makes sense 
So it took a bit to work out what was going on here. But I believe if I were to pull out from this line across there, I can then add in a set of points this way, which will need some adjustments a while since I've had to adjust a set of points like that. And one across here. So now everything can be done at that junction. There's a split off of there into the adjacent platform. And then back to open railway map because that actually shows me what's going on. There's a line off of here coming across. I think it's into just a sort of freight siding. What well, used to be the Newcastle and Carlisle Railway. Whatever it is, it wraps down here and ends around there-ish. Maybe a bit further round. Yeah, it comes a bit further round to there. Other than a split from here coming out into a siding or two and obviously a split here to join the two tracks together that's about it for that section so working back along the quad track section we end up at some more junctions. Over the road, there is a... Wait, this has got complicated. I'll just build what I think is right. I think that's going to be easier. Anyway, over the road, there is... Actually, I might be better off if I can build double track. Uh, there. We come out like this, and same there, and connect together. Then, can we not argue? Thank you. Okay. That is probably the best we're going to get there. This looks ugly, but there's no real way around that other than pulling this down. Um, there's a single set of points from line 2, I guess, if I say line 1 is the one on the left. I don't know which way they actually are numbered. I'm assuming they're numbered here, rather than they could be lettered. They're probably not up, down, up, down, because I think they're all bidirectional. Right. As it looks from track C, there's a line off there that comes down like so. But I might be inclined just to take it past that set of points. Oh, well, that's not past, but that's past. I've got space. I typically do points in a smaller space than they are in real life, so... That comes down to here. Then we have another pair that come up to these two lines. I have run out of space, but just from what I've built so far. And there's another single track off that across to there. Sorted. Might be worth me extending out onto a bridge. And I remember you, you can yes, you can hold control to make it straight. There we go. We'll go there so far. Um just noticing that it's not all been made one station, so 
if I pull that back a little bit, should resolve the issue. That unfortunately makes that a little bit ugly, but... There we go, that's all one station again now. And we call it... Um, what? What do we call it? What's its official name in the system? Possibly Newcastle, possibly Newcastle Central. We'll call it Newcastle. There we go. Um, I guess the best way to go is down, potentially. There's another four track stretch going on here that I want to build. Uh, maybe not on a viaduct. So if I just build two pairs and parent them together, remove constraint, parent, 10, flip, parent, flip, remove constraint, pick parent, uh, remove constraint, pick parent. Oh, this is going to be awkward. I'll try to parent it onto a node it's already on. Uh, there we go. Ten flip. Hey, these tracks come round across this road. Then three of them continue up to the left. But the rightmost one doesn't. So these three wrap round and onto a viaduct. And then I'm going to have to connect them up as individual tracks. Two, three. Then I might also make that node elevated. I think that would be helpful. We have a track come off here that will follow round. If I just parent it off of there. That sort of wraps in. But also, there's a junction off of that coming round this way. Uh, how far back am I going to have to pull that junction to make it look nice? I could put it there. That's probably the best I'm going to get. Coming this way, we go into a double track around there. But up till that point, it's single. Where one track has come from over here. And then there's also obviously a split up around to this side of the triangle. Uh, back on the main line, I realise I've done everything wrong. Meanwhile, back over here... Um, actually, that was not right. I needed to get rid of that one. Basically, we actually come off this track round to there. Meanwhile, this splits off here and round to there. Um, but I might be better off with a node ball. I don't have to work out where to parent it to. I think I want to parent there and there, or maybe I needed another node. Um, bring in a node, and then another node, and then there. Okay, that seems better. I don't know why it does that, but that is what it does. There's also, here, a switch across one line.
And then there is another one, but I'm not sure I've got enough length to the main line yet to put that in. I also can't get across that roundabout without doing a viaduct. Strictly speaking, it's probably a tunnel, but... Oh well. Um, back up here, and we have the last... Well, the second crossover. I think there's a third, but that's even further down. Yes. Well, I can probably get the... Um, main line in again. Come on, down here. It's, it seems to just become a normal full track further on, so I don't need to worry about it so much. Put in the crossover. And there we go. We've got three sides of the square done, in effect. Um, I know that isn't too much that we've done today. But I'm going to leave it here because I am recording this on the day it's releasing and I still have to edit it. So thanks for watching, like and subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one.